You're listening to the Starfall Actual Play Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin C. Mason, writer and creator of Starfall. This is a combination of short stories, audio dramas, and actual role-playing to tell a much larger story. In this episode, we get to learn more about our new players. Hey, Turbo. But no, it's a microphone. It's not dangerous. No, no, no. It's not a robot. It's not an artificial intelligence. No, what you did. What the bleep? No. Now what am I going to do? It was not looking at you. No. It's not intelligent. This episode contains strong language, like scrub, squid on, and now and then Terry oh, talks about work. Listener discretion is advised. Friends, when you look into the light, all of your past failures become clear. You can move away from these mistakes towards redemption, towards a happier life. Abuse, addiction, anger, and hate can all be a thing of the past. Scrap off, preacher. I've got too many Godar friends. I know what the church is doing to them. It's not like that! Come back. We can talk more. I want to hear your side. Never mind. See you in hell. I hate this. Three years of survival and advanced combat training, and I'm handing out brochures to try to save the souls of the undeserving. Ah, scrub off, preacher man. <clears throat> yeah, help me drag him into the alley. Well, let's see what he's got. But no money, not even a wall? Holy shit, what kind of gun is this? The pawn be the blessings in these last moments. Our hearts go out to the fallen, and falling, may the light find me in the... Praying. What, you think that is going to help? Last rites? We're not going to kill you, just taking all you got. Not for me. Here. Had you been? Stop, police. Hold it right there. This is Jeremiah Lightfoot, off world decision. This is Nova, Grand Prophet of the Order of Ancient Light. Oh, a lighted one. This is a surprise. How may I serve the order? We need you to relocate to the Confederate planet Helios. We have a mission that requires your special skill set. What are we talking? Kidnapping? Torture? Assassination? Crude words for the artistry you have displayed in the service of the church. Who is the target? Arcadi. She must be taken alive with no cranial damage. The remainder of your associates are expendable and may be dealt with as you deem necessary. Preferably exterminated. I will stress again, alive with no cranial damage. My faith compelled me to comply. I leave tonight. Hey there, everybody. This is Leslie D. Soul, author of the Fallen Wood Chronicles, here to remind you that if you think you've got troubles in your life, you're not alone. Follow our hero, Ash, in my novels as she has to deal with depression, insecurity, rampaging dragons, a heartache, pesky gnomes, betrayal, lack of fulfillment, confusion, inadvertent spellcasting, having to deal with royalty, and more within the pages of my novels. The cure for your troubles is to breathe deep, keep going, and read Fallen Wood. Hey, this is Storycrafter Mike from the Steamrollers Adventure Podcast. And, and Space Commander Robbie! You are not a Space Commander, okay. Robbie. Pew, pew. Anyway, pew. you're listening to Starfall on... Pew, 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 pew. All right, quit. Pew. Quit. Pew. You're listening to Starfall. Enjoy. Pew, pew. 
There's this one guy, he's sitting here and he's looks like he's building out of the forks a primitive catapult. He's got them all wedged together and, and stuff like this. And he's looking over at the text and he puts an olive on it. Kind of looks at it, kind of gauges for distance, bends back the fork, and flings the olive across. And it lands right in the drink of one of the technicians. You know what? Trebuchet is a definitely superior siege engine, but go with that next time. It goes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get that, I get that. But the calculations for, for hitting something like that, it's just too easy with the trebuchet. Catapult. Now that, if you can hit something with something that's inaccurate, but catapult, there you go. I'm going to put an olive on it and do the same thing. Flies wide. He's thinking, can I roll? <laughs> <laughs> As if I couldn't. No, you just, you're bad at catapults, Dad. I'm not there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> One of the other pirates who's sharpening a knife says, don't worry, he's a ship's gunner. Does artillery. You guys does this stuff for fun. Well, that's fair. Okay. I prefer Can you think of anyone else you want in front of the ship's gun? That's fair. I prefer line of sight, straight lines, anything past the watch of their eyes. Oh. I'll leave that to the other guys. Anti-boarding party. Or boarding party. Yeah, you should hang out with Lee. Just don't be there where she eats. Yeah, I'm not exactly squeamish, but... Oh, well, you will be. You don't know where I've been. With that face tattoo? I think everyone knows where you've been. You've been... Zero G graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> Your face isn't exactly subtle, my friend. Well, I know that, but you know I've seen some shit. Well, I don't know. Yeah, until you've seen her rip a guy in half and eat him. Well, I'm not one for human flesh, but sometimes you have to rip a guy in part. These things will happen. Ah. <sighs> this woman sitting at the table of this massive gun behind her. She says, enough with the uh, complaining about Tully guys. You know the rules. She says, hi, I'm Cal. Hey, I'm Dave. Good to meet you, Dave. So, uh, anti boarding party, huh? Well, quite possibly. We're a pretty widely skilled group of people and we're on here to lend a hand in exchange for getting our asses out of space controlled by the church. Does Terry hear any of this? I walked away from you guys. Yeah, no, that's uh, what I'm saying. Do I hear any of this? I say it's not quite within your shop. Ah, cool. Yeah, shut up. I tell you, it's um, definitely a lot better than the last group that we got. They just sat around trying to selling us shit all day. Hey. All day. Hey. <laughs> I take offense to that. Personally. You're on the crew. You're. <laughs> you were probably trying to sell them shit. <laughs> 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 I tried to unsell it at a higher rate, and everybody was having. Sell it back on the thirty-second market. I saw that. I saw that three days three days ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one of the pirates is looking at it and goes, You've got a holographic, holographic projector, don't you? Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let me holograph this out of the area. Well, the song goes, oh, It's 20 cents. Well, go on there. And, uh, yeah. There it is. A beer of cat in my hand. <laughs> 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 you just hit the nail on the head. <laughs> Bam. You know what came up on my news feed the other day? Purple carrots. <laughs> Purple carrots. <laughs> <laughs> now watch me. Uh, now uh, watch me make this hologram carrot disappear. I wave my hand over it, and it's, and it's gone again. The hologram carrot. Watch this. Oh, gone. <laughs> I reach over and pull it back out of the rear again and take a bite out of it. <laughs> and wink at them. <laughs> he's like, that's amazing. Oh, I can tell that this pirate is definitely part of the anti boarding party, not in the, the intelligence group. I'm like, oh, wow. Can you do the same thing with this and puts like 20 credits in front of you? <laughs> that's just going to disappear. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Boom. I'm not Wait, sure, but I'll try my best. My hologram <laughs> credits. <laughs> Put my hand over the table and they disappear. <laughs> Take another bite out of the cat. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's great. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. I got you. You couldn't make him come back. No, you're right. Another go. <laughs> you're out of control, Jim. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm not up to that sort of level yet. <laughs> Need a few more drinks? <laughs> Uh, you, you can see that the neurons are just not quite clicking. Hasn't quite figured out that he's too much money. He's twenty credit short of a paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you're watching this in, in your action. Have known you that, that you've already sold like four <laughs> or five of your little trinkets to this guy. <laughs> and it's like anything that you show him, he's like, oh my god, I gotta have one of those. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those before. Yeah, kind of just looking over and watching this happen. A little bit disappointed now that he doesn't have 20 credits to spend on my beautiful goods that I've got in store. <laughs> well, also lazily slicking back to a little, little comm station and just checking my wares online just to make sure that my that my prices are be reasonable. Are reasonable, yeah. You, you know. wouldn't be able to check them online at the moment, yes? We're in stuff all, so comms are offline. Oh. And she has her own personal inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, Richard. Take my little, little, my little database. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. my spreadsheet. My spreadsheet. <laughs> I'm checking through my things, you know, just kind of like piling up a couple of things out of my bag that I feel like some explorers might need. What you're actually doing right now. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, you know. <laughs> okay, a extra point for the props yeah. that you're pulling up. Props this the is, props. This is... Yeah. Um, we need definitely need to start streaming this because, wow, <laughs> you, you, uh, <laughs> so, so I'm seeing a, a Tupperware, <laughs> a zip tie, a zip tie, some latex gloves, size seven point five. There it is. So right? Yeah, oh. exactly. Well, and well, you, would no, actually you use really them. are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and One, the, the space right. pirates, they've got a little saying that if you don't buy from me, things gonna go real bad for you in space. You gotta go buy it. <laughs> it's gonna go buy it. So yeah, so just keep piling it up. There might be some water. Maybe they're a bit thirsty. You do have a water bottle. It, yeah, she's got cold. another one for like half price. That's like years old, but they don't know that. They don't know that. It's um, fresh. It's straight from the stream. The Alaskan mountains. The waters of the Been processed. Been processed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Collusion water processed through Glipcorp. Yeah, Glip so it, this is like Glipcorp Glip Glip Premium. Mm. This is mm. premium. So Shit, you know, that's that's expensive. At least 50 credits for that one. What else we got in here? She actually has like, props. This is amazing. <laughs> we've got just for when shit goes down and we're in war. We've got fingers. some earplugs, oh. but they oh. also could double up as extra fingers. You're right, and I think I'm feeling that some people might also like or appendage extenders. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I have been brained with earplugs. Excellent. They could also maybe do double up of other sort of plugs as well. So, <laughs> um, what else we got in here? I can yeah. block a lot of things. Uh, we've got a hair tie or two. I would spell for shit from sinking in space. Yeah, can, definitely. Yeah, like, what else could you guys need? Negative um, pressure. We've also got dangerous. some first aid supplies as well. What the fuck? Saline. <laughs> it's very important for humans and lippins. A lot of creatures have got to maintain exactly. proper electrolyte exactly. levels. Exactly, and it's, that's why it's saline. Especially yeah, Arcady, that's, that's really shit. I'm so fascinated right now by his face. The random <laughs> <laughs> and if, any, if anyone's learning to pilot this ship, they of course need their logbook. 
It is an L plate. L. Oh my god, that is the most Australian thing you've yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're over 25, you don't need to do it anymore. Believe yeah. me, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's an L plate course booklet. But Love it's a, it's Love a guide book. only, and it doesn't replace legislation. So out in space, we can do what we want. That's the best. So I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm collating my wares and checking my prices, making sure that they're fair for all the good fellows on board here. <laughs> but so good. This is one Excellent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. that's that was definitely worth the extra point. Wow, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> that is. Oh, and uh, there's also um there's also the um they've got they've got one very yeah. special item. <laughs> and I feel that there's there's somebody in the party on it. Give it to me. No, I bought it off you. <laughs> All right. All right. She already bought it off me. <laughs> she already bought it off me. But yeah, anyway. Wow. That 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 uh that uh. Did I not tell them that were good? Yeah. yeah. Like Katie early on. These guys are like the geeks of the geeks. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It actually just happened. That's so funny. How did that happen? Why, Terry, I'm good. Did you miss it me? Happened it did actually. Terry just welcomes me back. Terry is noticing that he actually has a first mate. Okay. That's an effort. He doesn't anymore. He doesn't have a ship, but he's still got a first no, mate. No, he needs to have a ship to have a first mate. So you're devoted to... Yes, but it depends on the definition of mate. That was, you know, we'll... He does go across the other side. get locked Somewhere. and it barriers... Sorry. Oh, I, of course I secured no, the whole thing before I left. It's you there. Can't get it. Assuming the asteroid's so not it's blown to pieces. Um, it's the bar. You know where it is. You just don't get to it anymore. Yeah, but did they actually you know, know what you could have done? You know what they could have done with some earplugs. Is that when the ship blew up? We don't know. Is there any way to find out? Later, I guess. Later. Okay. So, I'm sorry, I had to excuse myself to go try to find some water tank to immerse myself into because I was just a little too stressed and I needed a bit of, of she hydration. She needed to find a quiet place to get moist. V needed a little bit. <laughs> v needed Sorry, to v. find a quiet place to get moist. Thank you, Dave, for <laughs> making that such an L. Now we see where your son gets it. <laughs> she, took, somehow. she did take some of our warming in uh, warm whiskey, though, which we're a little bit low down. Well, I have, in my travels of trying to find my turbo weasel, made sure that Atrium is nice and safe and calm. Okay. Having a little rest. And then I have discovered my turbo weasel gnawing on a sewing machine <coughs> with someone's prized bikini <laughs> ripped to shreds at its feet. Lava comes storming into the room and says, Boo has just bitten through the cord and snapped all the needles of my sewing machine. <laughs> I really thought you were going to bring up the bikini. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I have one thing that I do when I'm in space and I'm in Starfall when I'm not required to be on the deck just so that I can calm down. And what does your turbo weasel do but come in and destroy it? <laughs> <laughs> so I have, a, I have a special skill with uh, sewing machines as well. It's something that I like to do in my spare time. Oh, do you? Yeah, so I can fix this for you. And you better. Yeah, and, and then... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There is no cost. This is reparations for damages caused by a feral animal. <laughs> oh, it just saved our life for my life. It did, but it made a mess. <laughs> and it broke my He's thing. Starving. <laughs> but sewing machines aren't turbo weasel food. Well... He got mistaken. But the sewing machine is the ship's navigation system. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to know. stop giving the GM ideas? <laughs> I need to know where everyone is at the moment. Where, where are you? We're currently the fighting ship? over a sewing machine in the locker room. Okay. <laughs> in the mess, setting up a stall. Okay. For wares. I'm impressing buffoons. <laughs> so the mess. In the mess. mess. <laughs> I'm in the mess talking to the <laughs> crew members. Uh, Terry's actually gone to go see Jerry, and thought we should scope out the ship to see if there's anything we could uh, use, and maybe inherit. Okay. You really want to be stealing from a ship that's just yeah. bailed your sorry little We're ass stuck out. on the ship. I can't I'm bail with these goods. I'm exploring. <laughs> Father. I'm still in the mess yeah. because I was talking to Tali and I might be willing to forgive Terry, assuming Terry manages to not piss anyone else off. And actually apologize. I've already. Well, okay. Maybe it could be a separate thing we can have a conversation. Is it like a. 
thing. No, do it now. In front of everyone. I love you. <laughs> you are the male to my female male. I'm female. not a male or a no, female. No, no. I was trying to say that you were like my male and female to me. Okay. Because it's all about you. It's all about the Z. Because this is not human centric at all. This I isn't am, any human I, am, I, th I think this is terrible. Whatsoever. If this is me trying to be nice, but I'm self centered. Yes, we know this. So just I'm accept playing. it I'm as playing, a. As, I'm playing it. Yeah, as you, it. you are my, you are my Z to my everything. I am the only yeah. Z that puts up with your sense. Yeah, and I love you for it. Yeah, you need I'll to pay me more that. is what you need to do. I do once Jerry like she does a good job of protection. Um, what? Oh, sure, blame <laughs> the other non-human in the situation. Yeah, but I feed him so much. You're still alive. I'm right here, by the way. And you're still alive while... Yeah, no, no, it's all right. We're good. I'll figure out something. Oh, oh. Hey, look, 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 see? This is Tali. We're with, with Tali. Tali is the first friend I have made on this ship. You know what? I think we should throw Tilly a party. I, no, I would like to point out that I, my little <laughs> alien, alien, in quotes, non-human self, made a friend mm -hmm. on this ship before you did. It's amazing. Your job is to actually schmooze people and get them to like you, and I managed to make a friend first. I bet you anything I can make more friends than you can. See, but I'm not talking to you now, Lightning Boy. So, I'm talking with Terry. Don't offend my dad. And I'm talking to Terry <laughs> that in spite of all of the money he yeah, says he can get you. by making people happy, I'm actually the first being who actually made a true friend on this ship. And I think it's important for us to make friends on this ship, and I bet you I can make more friends than he can. I don't make friends, I make money. Well, then I win. Terry's here to make people happy, I'm here to make people sad. <laughs> so, so, so they're okay. <laughs> I still think we should throw a party because we escaped from the church. Okay, well, we for now. the reason why I was asking is because you all feel the sensation of an emergency starfall. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, I hate it when they do that. So, remember the previous description of yes. being stoned thrown up against the marshmallow wall upside down. This is like if the marshmallows were stale. Ouch. Yes. Mm. It's not a pleasant e experience. This is the so furthest I've ever had a marshmallow one. analogy go. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how comfortable I am with this. Why is it on fire? Why am I not pulling the skin off it? <laughs> Are you sure you're not there trying to shove it in the coin? So <laughs> This job just spent a lot of time meticulously preparing goes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. for, yeah. The, this being for the listeners girlfriend. at home, this is a Oh, they got the full description. Oh, okay. They I'm got sorry, the full I wasn't description. Here. <laughs> yeah. So when she said this, she was doing the whole arm thing. It, including on this a bottle of water of from Glipcore. 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 Glipcore premium water. Premium water, the best water in the universe. Out of date. They even, they they even, they even, they even do, they even do right. another product line of salted water <laughs> as well. We do for our Octopodian friends. Yeah. But instead of just accepting dirty salted water, we actually run the salted water through a filter and then reintegrate <laughs> purified salt. I mean, wow, wow. <laughs> well, I mean, because only the best comes from Glipcore. It took me a second. It wasn't until you put the bottle on top of your head. I was like, oh, there's an octopus on her head. Oh! Okay, and the fact that it's an alcoholic bottle was like, wait, <laughs> yes, I think yes. there's actually less yes, alcohol. Yes, the table has an alcoholic bottle of, with an octopus on its label on her head. I actually think that there's less alcohol in that bottle Crackin than, than there, there ever is in, is in Rizzo. Rizzo. <laughs> That is Rizzo. Yeah. Right there. Rizzo. So, what you guys experience is an emergency <laughs> starfall. There is an alert that goes throughout the ship saying that they have almost collided with something. Everyone to your stations, please put on your spacesuits. I hook it to my quarters to grab my spacesuit and then hook yeah, it to the bridge. I look around the mess. Is there any sort of emergency? Extra suit. Yes, there's an emergency suit in every room. Oh, there's emergency, and is there any for for appendaged no. beings? No. Because well, of course not. Because why would there ever be anything for something the, other than a human? You two arms by your side, too useful. 
You'll still live. You just will have two less arms. Thank you. Mm. Fewer. Thank you. Fewer. For human explaining that to me, because I would have never sorted that out on my own. That's, That's the pronounced human splaining. <laughs> <laughs> I go into the, I run to the engineering like, section where forward, I know there were a lot of forward. other glippins. What do Elone usually do when they can't find the space to, which happens quite often, I imagine? Well, <laughs> fortunately <laughs> for you, this is a pirate ship where they have all sorts of types. Uh-huh. Except not glippins. <laughs> uh, um, so there is a suit your size. It does not fit well. In fact, imagine wearing like a Michelin tire or... uh, Uh, As Dave would explain, it's okay, just shove your table tail down your left leg. (laughs) You'll look funny, but you'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) And he's the prostitute. I have cloths, good sir. Thank you very much. I would like to think so. Oh, well, we've had a good time. We know that. Okay. <laughs> we got what we need. So, I'm going to go around. Barely. Terry, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What am I doing? Sorry. What are you, you doing? Oh, fuck it. Learning. I'm getting yelled at by Primtel. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> so, I've looked at Primtel. She's, she's run away from me like she always does. Whenever there's something important going on. But Primtel's been walking around the ship because she had... Oh, wait, no, she's been at the table, hasn't she? Mm-hmm. She's useless. <laughs> All right, so I, on, I, I, I'm sort of like... I've looked at Dave Hammerhand, my father, mm-hmm. and just gone, what are we doing? Like, because I'm sort of like, I haven't been in this situation before, so I'm sort of freaking out a little bit, yeah. but I sort of want to keep my composure. Okay. But I've looked at Dave and I'm gone, what's going on? Well, where do we go? Because like, he's talking to other people on the ship. So... I'm talking to other people and don't see what he's saying. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna get in my spacesuit and ask to leave. Well, actually, no. I'm nowhere near to leave. I'm gonna ask the people, whoever it is who happens to be around me, what's the deal? It um, looks like we almost hit something. You're a piece of shit. And he promptly puts on his suit, attaches a helmet. There's always a chance of explosive decompression. Well, I'm going to keep putting my suit on. And as I do that, I'm going to turn around and tell everyone else, follow what everyone else is doing, find a suit, put it on. Thanks, Dad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, well, seeing you yep. with your thumb up your ass, I've got wondering what the hell is a space suit. It's slightly too long, and my peg leg has become detached from one of the legs, so I'm hopping around on my <laughs> <laughs> But I'm in the suit, it's just yeah. sort of detached. Um, so now actually, that you've, you've defined so that you have a peg leg, who are you, what's your name, what do you do? We have as, pirates, <laughs> as pirates, you would have customized suits. I think this is one of the emergency ones, it was close to hand. Ah, uh, okay. Ratchet, so, yes. And it was ill-fitting. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have a bunk or whatnot assigned on this ship, but uh, my suit would be stashed on with my bunk. Which okay. is why I ran to my bunk to get my suit. Yeah. It's hard to run with a peg leg. Yes. <laughs> you really need to get that seen too. They can fit it much better. I, I, I'm working you know, on you need to get them molecular graft. With some upgrades. I know that you're a little bit old fashioned, but well, you know. Well, it's working on a pirate ship. Making them cash dollars. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Peg legs, peg legs. People call me Peg Legs Stew, but my, my name is actually something else. And then you and our Katie can learn how to do Actually, it, something it else. Was the, <laughs> <laughs> it was easier to get employment on a pirate ship with a peg leg. <laughs> but I was, like I, I was, I was already like in the else. ship with a church, mm-hmm. and I have a peg leg because of a church-related incident. I have a history Ooh. of crashing ships. <laughs> Which is why you're not a pilot anymore. <laughs> so now here's, here, here's a question for your character: Are you originally from church territory? Uh, are you from the Confederacy? Are you from the independent planet? So uh, I'm from church territory, I suppose, but I've always been rebellious, I suppose, or okay. against their ideologies. Now, so you're not, you're, and now are you a member of the faith, or do you have personal views that either align with the church or... I don't with them. Okay, but so I, you're not... I have been, I was brought up in that area. Okay, so as a 
former member of the faith, do you carry around their equivalent of a crucifix? It's not. It's wait right here. It is this. <laughs> do it, do wait. it as the game runs <laughs> <laughs> run away to fetch an artifact. We have an intermission. Let's talk shit. <laughs> when did we stop talking shit? Did I carry it around or not carry it around? No, no, you shouldn't carry it around. I don't want it's to up to you, you whether or not you, you, you carry it around. It what will be happens, interesting whichever way no, no, you go. No, what happens if your peg leg clips in have with one. the crucifix and go. into the bottom? It's like you're, you Death don't up. Know, it's Are you someone that would carry <laughs> carry that around? Like some people that are not actively Christian may carry around a cross? No, no, no. So I sort of was brought up in a community, I was sort of indoctrinated, but I came to a realization that this is not my jam. So okay. You were brought up in the Bible, that was, you know. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So, okay. So you're, so you're no longer a practitioner? No. And do you have... I would be the equivalent of atheist, but not militantly atheist. Okay. That's really important for later, but I cannot tell you why. Cool. So, by the way, if anyone else is a member of the faith, even if they don't agree with the church's <coughs> politics, you need to let me know. And there's some important reasons for that. I'll sign up. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it. How, did, how did they spell that on you? <laughs> <laughs> Money to be made. Okay. You every have better contacts if you're part of the church, because you can actually sell things on. Because if I limit 50% uh, of my universal, like my gal galactic market, is, is the church cool with members of the faith being um, members of pirate codes? Oh, no, they love it. By the way, that's a refrigerator magnet that is going towards Patreon members shortly. Yeah, that's cool. As soon as we're cool. able. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a still working on the uh, 3D printing. <laughs> the uh, fridge <laughs> magnet that our GM is talking about is. What was it? It's the Church of Home, the Crucifix. Yeah, the yeah. Church of the Illumination. Yes. Yeah. Looks like a square of yeah. chocolate with a sun ray coming out of it at this yeah. point in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Currently it looks like that, yeah. Chocolate square triangle sun. Yep. That's a good description. Know. Yeah, no, um, I, I think, you know, being a member is really important, but I see it more as a trade network rather than anything else. I okay, think that's really so... Important. So I don't really believe, but... You, you don't, gotta, you don't you go and pray... No, nah, you've got to flash your card to get some deals, kind of. Okay, that's important. <laughs> okay. Indoctrinated. <laughs> you're like, time to die. <laughs> so you're hopping, Dave's hopping around with, sorry, Dan, <coughs> D. Peg legs do. Peg legs, Peg legs do. do. There's literally it's two. Two. <laughs> hey. Yes, but I also have to deal with Terry and Jerry. <laughs> Terry and Jerry. <laughs> Dave, Dan. Dave, Dan. <laughs> Dave, Jane. Oh, my God. People okay. call my guy the Peg legs do. It's not his actual name, but it's stuck. Mm. I don't know. He hates it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Like you, like you. <laughs> My name is Max, damn it! My name is Libby, damn it! My name is Libby, damn it! Why did you just call me Libby? Is the Twitter <laughs> What's that? Name, did the Twitter name the Weasel or what? No. No, no, no. no, no it's, there was one person that was like Zippy, and then that was it. There was one vote. Yeah, but they also voted for Turbo, so I'm like... Okay, Turbo's fine. Well, turbo the Turbo Weasel. Well, Turbo... Come on, TT. ...took one last attempt at scrapping up the, the sewing machine, and it fell out of my hands and smashed all over the floor, and then as I saw Lava running towards... <laughs> off to get my spacesuit. Running off to get a spacesuit, I was like, hmm, I should probably grab a spacesuit too, so I grabbed a spacesuit. So... I heard that! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the Weasel will hurt itself. So the Weasel looks around and goes, hmm. And then you see the from the metal bit extending out, covering his entire body. So he has this built-in spacesuit. Yeah, I like this weasel. Yeah. <laughs> well, could, was there an, an option on ever yours? to play a turbo weasel? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, I, the weasel came up because I had a roll versus roll pass. <laughs> yes, if yeah. anyone has the right to play the turbo weasel, it would be Zan. However. Yeah. I um, had the card. Anything. The turbo is the line. I, I tell you, that, that card threw me off because I was like, why did I say turbo? Fuck, I said turbo weasel. God damn it. <laughs> turbo weasel. Now it's not going to have that <coughs> stick with it. Too powerful. It's like, uh, I'm not going to get that drop card. It is the only reason why I'm alive. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> like a dirty running. Yeah, so. <laughs> Okay, so what you guys hear is battle stations. 
anti-boarding crew to the airlock were being attacked. 